so fucking excited for this show. I seriously can't keep it together. Oh, you sweet, sweet, innocent child. Past me was such a... Oh, it was so naive. If only he knew what I knew now, he wouldn't have made such a bold claim. So we're all aware of the atrocity that is the Acolyte by now. Everybody's heard about it. Everybody knows how shit it is, or maybe you don't. And if you don't, count yourself lucky. None are as disappointed in this show than I. I was really, really looking forward to it. I knew there was controversy going into it, but I was at least hoping, hoping there was some small amount of decent story to be told in it. And yet, it has been one constant disappointment after another, especially episode 3. Fucking Christ, that shit was so bad. So, for today, I'm actually just going to record myself reacting to watching the episode 4 for the first time. I've never done anything like this before, but honestly, I'm so disinterested in the show, I thought, fuck it, why not? Plus, I've been sick for a week, so I don't have anything else prepared. So, uh, without further ado, let's get the shit show on the way. I can't wait till this Wookiee Jedi does something actually cool. Well, at least they are learning some cool moves from the prequels, except every time this guy speaks, I want to shoot myself. I came to say goodbye. Thank fuck. I figured you'd stay until we apprehended her. Please don't. I mean, you must be curious after all this time. May is the Jedi's not at all. problem now. And I'm not a Jedi. Twelve seconds later. You want me to rejoin the Jedi? Wow, you seem so excited about that. What happened to you just wanting to leave? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I wouldn't just take off if I were you. Go Why not? That means she'll leave the talk. scene sooner. Follow me. Is this going to be one of those episodes where everybody's just walking around and nothing happens till the very end of the episode? An apprentice who doesn't know their master. It's absurd. Oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah, well, how are the Jedi even more arrogant before the prequels? Like, they were bad in the prequels. You know what? You guys do deserve Order 66. You must alert the High Council. The High Council would be obliged to inform the Senate. They don't know? A like this would inspire fear and mistrust. Oh, for fuck's sake. All about this propaganda bullshit. The Jedi are worse in this than they are in the prequels. I'm just curious how you're going to do it this time. You, you failed so much. Yes, she has. I killed Indara, and I killed Torben. Oh, I wouldn't say you killed them. I would say the plot killed them, or bad writing killed them. Is he, or they, uh, with us? Is that supposed to be a pronoun thing? I'm going to have to insist that you hand it over. I don't know who I hate more, Osha or him. Probably him, because I don't remember his name. Well, well, well. If it isn't a ragtag bunch of no-name Jedi. Bet none of them are gonna say anything in this whole episode. Ten seconds later. I don't see him. Ah oh, shit! One of these actual no-name Jedi's actually spoke. Well, guess I'm wrong, guys. Call it quits. It's a good show, I guess. I've known you since we were younglings. Where was Anakin when we really needed him? Why would you touch it, you dumb bitch? Oh hell no! That thing flies! I have it. Finally, Jedi doing some Jedi things. Well, that was anticlimactic. Well, now you're gonna piss off the nest because there's clearly a lot of them and they're all gonna start swarming you now. What? But I disturbed it. And now it's dead. Can someone disturb you? I have to fight a Wookiee after this trek. I'd like to rest for a minute, if that's all right with you. I hope the Wookiee fight is at least entertaining. And I hope she, he rips her arms off. You don't even care. I care. I don't. I'm calling it now. He's the big bad. I don't need to do this anymore. I don't need to kill a Jedi without a weapon. I don't need to keep this deal. What? Why? You were wrong. Osha being alive changes everything. My loyalty is to Osha, not your master. What? What are you doing? Wait, yeah, seriously, what, what he said, what are you doing? I surrender myself to Kalnaka. What? And then turn myself into the Jedi. No, what? No, no, stop, Why? Stop. Why? Why would you do that? It's ten minutes off, right? Why is you? What? The Jedi oh. will put you in prison. What the fuck? Not after I tell them who I know. Oh, for fuck's Okay, hold on. 
I have to pause it right here. Oh my god! Why does it always piss me off? Why can't they commit to a bad guy character? Why is it that every b main bad guy that the story follows has to turn to a good guy? It's so bullshit! The show's fucking called The Acolyte for a reason! For fuck's sake! God damn it! Master Kilnaka! Kilnaka has been killed! <gasps> my god! He is dead! Who could have ever seen this coming? I'm calling it now, it's definitely the guy who's hung up in a tree, because who else knew that she was going to betray the master, and who's also on the planet and knew where she was going? Like, it seems kind of convenient. See, Soul gets it. Oh! 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 Okay. Oh, you know what? I'll give you credit for that. That was kind of cool in the background. Took me a second to see it, but... I ain't gonna lie, I kind of like the mask of this thing. What is that? That, my dear, is the Acolyte and the f main character of the show. Finally! Yes! Okay, let's get some actual fighting going on. Let's fucking go! What? What? What the f- What the fuck are you ta- You gotta be- You gotta- <laughs> Oh! Just when it was starting to get mildly good! Wait, that was actually Kiara Mundi? And that was episode 4 of The Acolyte. And I gotta say, in my personal opinion, <gasps> This episode was dog shit, like, utter, complete dog shit. It was so fucking boring. And I didn't think anything could be worse than episode 3. And yet, I stand corrected. I'll go over the things I did like about this episode, because that'll be really quick. Because it's only one thing, and that's the appearance of the Acolyte himself. I did like, actually, how they introduced him. The tone that they used, it lent itself more to a creepy, darker tone as it should, coming from a Sith or Sith wannabe, like, and this guy seems pretty, pretty strong if he just force pushed a whole bunch of Jedi. Um, literally the only reason I'm watching this show is just for him, just to find out, I guess, who he is, though I have my suspicions, and that's the only thing I liked about this episode. Nothing else was good. I won't go over everything I hated about it, because otherwise this would be a 50 minute long episode. The big things? how they ended the episode, just when things were get starting to get somewhat interesting, they ended in the worst possible way. Like, how the fuck do you think that's a good idea? I just, I'm still pissed about that. Another thing is that this guy's apparently Kiara Mundi. I mean, does that kind of, does that break canon? But the thing I'm most disappointed in is Mei. She just decides halfway through that, no, I'm done being a bad guy. I want to go and hang out with my sister again. Like, what the actual fuck, man? The show is called The Acolyte. She has been portrayed to be one of the big bads or one of the main bads for this whole show. And it's supposed to come from the perspective of the bad guys. The show has done none of that whatsoever. It's been focusing more on the Jedi and just how bad they are. Anyway, that's it for this. I hope you enjoyed it. It is something different. If you like it, please let me know. I might do some more. Or even if you didn't, I'll still probably do it. Who the fuck knows? But that's going to be it for me. I'll catch you guys next time. I don't really have an outro. I just kind of leave it to my to-be-continued thing. So how do I normally end...